Hello YouTube, today I'm going to present you the Cold Nano Control 2 I just bought and I will show you how to set up this product on your Reaper DAW. Mm, actually you have two options. Uh, the first one is using this Nano Control for let's say Reaper user interface control so you can control the um, volume of each track and you can play, stop, uh, record your track uh, but you won't be able to assign uh, each knobs and faders to uh, the volume control you want. Like if you want to control the volume of one VST, you won't be able to. The second option is to use this Nano Control 2 as a MIDI tool, uh, a usual one, and to reassign all the knobs and faders and buttons to what you want. So let's uh, see the two options. So let's start with uh, the beginning. So you have your nano control too. Let's uh, plug it in. So now we have um, this uh, little light here. It's on. Now let's check on, on the computer. The first one is to use the controller as a user interface control. So let's open Reaper. And this first option will allow you to, uh, let's, let's say, to play your track, to stop your track, to start recording, and to um, set up all the volumes for each track. So in order to do that, you have first to download the core driver. So on Google, you just type core nano control to driver. Then you have this first link, you can click on it. And at the bottom of this page, you can download the driver. This is it. You download and you just basically install it and that's it. The second thing you want to download is um, what we call Maki Control Clinker. Clinker is the name of uh, uh, the person who developed that. So you have this first link also, you click on that and uh, it will guide you to a forum. So to download the Mac Control Clinker, you have to click on the second link. So I will put the uh, link on the description. So just click on it and you will be able to download the, the whole zip file. So once it's downloaded, you unzip the file and where you have to unzip it is um, you have to unzip that into Reaper folder so you have to look for where you install your Reaper folder okay so once you have uh, unzipped these files into the plugins files uh, I just advise you to restart Reaper in case of Then you have to click on Options, Preferences, on Audio MIDI Devices, and you have to be sure that your Nano Control is enabled. So you just right click on that and you check the Enable Inputs. So you do the same for the Outputs. Make sure it's enabled. Right click and check Enable Outputs. So now in order to um, set up your nano control, you have to click on options, uh, preferences, and you have to go to the bottom and control or swim. Then on this uh, um, window, you have to click add and you select the Maki control clinker. So if you didn't uh, unzip all the files in your plugins uh, file you won't be able to see that uh, option but after you have unzipped the file you will see this option so you check you, you select the Mac control clinker for the MIDI input you select nano control slider knob and for the MIDI output you select nano control then you select OK and OK and now what you can see is um, you will be able to 
control the volume so let's add a track mm, let's try expand so you can see that when I move this the fader I control the first track volume you can also check uh, you can play the track you can stop the track you can also start recording your track and you can for example put a marker here and then let's put another one you can travel through markers with uh, that button so it's it's pretty cool to have that kind of uh, stuff but let's imagine you want to assign a um, something to your MIDI controller so imagine you want to play violin and you now I want to control the volume of my violin so um, basically when you have when you have a knob so what you do is just you right click on the knob and you learn MIDI and if I try to select this knob you will see that it's not quite well now you don't control the volume quite well uh, it's not continuous and even if you try to learn this MIDI with the slide one you won't be able to, to do that so let's check how to do that so then you close your Reaper and you open your Korg um, control editor so you select your, your, your device Nano control 2 and you have this window so what you want to do is click on this uh, upper left button and you see that uh, by default the control mode is uh, on sonar you just want to click that and select CC CC stands for continuous control so each button right here you see uh, CC uh, 16, 17, 18 um, will assign values from 0 to 126 I believe but so continuous means that you can now have a continuous values between 0 and 126 so this is what you want for your knobs and your, your faders and make sure that for this button the play button, record button right, uh, left click on that and you select toggle if not, if you select momentary um, the button as soon as you push it and you release it it will stop play actually if you so you, you want to make uh, that button turn in toggle mode then when it's done you can click on communication and write scene data so it will send all the new setup to your core control open the Reaper again and then you open options go to preferences Go back to MIDI devices and in the MIDI inputs you right click on another control and you configure uh, inputs. Then you have to check enable input for control messages. Click OK and then when you add the VST now you can assign when you open your VST now you can assign this volume to a knob and you can see that it's continuous now so when you play let's say the violin you will be able to control the volume and even with the, the fader if you want
So of course, with the second options, you won't be able to control your user interface uh, anymore. But actually, we, you can do that with Reaper, with the um, actions key. So in order to do that, you have to make shortcuts and to assign all the the play and stop buttons with your MIDI controller. So you put, uh, you click on action, show action list, and then you have to assign to each function the key you want. So let's say I want to assign play with uh, this button. So what you have uh, many ch choices. You can look for the play button in the list, or you can click on find shortcuts. And since I know the play button is the space bar, I, I press uh, space. Then I have this play stop transports. So I have already already assigned my my MIDI button to that. But what you you should do is uh, basically you click add, and you click on your on your button of uh, the MIDI controller. So you do that for all the stuff. So uh, what I have assigned is uh, for the play stop button. You have uh, also the this uh, square stop button is uh, when you press uh, enter of your keyboard. The record button is control R. So you find shortcuts, control R, and you have transport button. Click add and you click on your round uh, button of your MIDI controller. So if you want uh, the other stuff, uh, you have the solo, you can check for... So this button is aimed for uh, soloing one track, so you just type follow in a uh, solo in filter, sorry. And then you look for this uh, item, track toggle solo for track one. And since you um, just have eight um, channels on your nano control, you just can uh, assign MIDI for eight tracks. So same thing, click on it, add, press the button, that's it. For the marker, go to marker, and you look for that. So to go to the next marker, you can see that I have assigned that to my button here. So it's markers go to the next marker. I have loaded a project so you can see how you can control your project with the nano control too. So for example you can play the project. Um, you can stop the project. You can solo the first track. You can follow solo the fourth track uh, you can change marker yeah you can move that button and then for example if you choose the violin then you learn MIDI and check this so you can now control the volume of your VST via the fader So yeah, this is it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just uh, tell me in the comment section. So I hope my video was useful for you. Uh, don't hesitate to comment on the section below and to ask questions if uh, you have. And if it doesn't work for you, I will try to help you if possible. Um, don't hesitate to click on the like button if you like the video and to subscribe to my channel. I invite you to check my channel and to listen to my music composition. See you later.